Hello Taurus, welcome back to New Hope at Tarot, where I will be doing your monthly reading for May. This month we're going to be doing things slightly different, as I will be, um, I have side projects going on and I'll be doing some traveling, so I will not be taking my camera. Um, so we are stuck with audio for this month, um, and also the monthly reading for this particular um month is going to be slightly different and that's because i might not be able to get i might not be able to get uh the weeklies out so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be pulling five cards for the month and break them down per week and i'm going to be doing that for each week and there's five weeks in the month of may so I'm going to be going over each week, uh, week by week, and I'm going to be going over the overall theme um, and possible outcomes, okay? So overall, like general themes, possible um, obstacles, and how to overcome it or navigate through them, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing here. Your overall energy for the month is deep freeze. And your deep freeze is number 26. And really what I'm seeing here with this deep freeze is the fact that you have been on pause for a bit. And you're kind of thawing is really what I'm seeing. I, I'm seeing you thawing. I, I'm seeing a... It's like you were in, in hibernation mode. And now you're, you're coming out with spring. You're just kind of thawing out. And I, I feel like you're wanting to showcase a new part of who you are. That's what I'm seeing here. I really like that. I really, really like that. Good for you. So overall, this particular month, that's what we're going to be seeing a lot of for you is maybe seeing a, a new um, a new side of who you are, but not necessarily new side, but maybe it's a side that maybe you've repressed. All right, my dear Taurus, let's take a look at what we have going on here for week one. So that was your overall energy for the month. You just kind of shedding an old, uh, an old persona. All right, let's see what we have here for week one. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands and the Magician. What I'm seeing here with week one is, honestly, I'm seeing that you're kind of taking things day by day. I feel like you are a bit of a planner and I feel like you, you know, Maybe you recently just heard some bad news and you say, you know what? Don't worry about that. I got this. I'm moving forward. I'm able to, I'm able to roll with the punches is really what I'm getting here. So even though you might have received some sort of bad news, um, recently in the past, I feel like right now for the, for the first week of the month, what I'm actually seeing is the fact that you're saying, you know what? I got this. I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to roll with it. And for obstacles that are coming up for this week, I'm not really seeing any obstacles. Um, if I'm being honest, I I'm seeing the Knight of wands and I feel like you're fearless. Like you're just going forward with creativity. And I feel like you're digging into a part of you that has been sleeping. Like I said, with this, a deep freeze energy, you're digging in and I feel um, like you're just creating a new vibe about you. Still chill, but like a cool vibe about you. It's like you're changing things up. Um, then as far as how to overcome or navigate, I, we have the magician here and really I feel like you have all of the tools to create whatever outcome you want to create but I'm not seeing any real obstacles. I'm not seeing anything to really overcome because I feel like you've already overcome it. 
you know, I, I just feel like you're like, all right, well, say la vie. I'm, I have, I, I got a good handle on my situation and I'm going to make the best of this. And I do see that that's what you're doing. For those who have yet conquered that, work on trying to go with the flow. Lean into what has happened, but take a look at where that can catapult you towards. You know, sometimes a setback is just like a sling back and it'll thrust you forward into something better. So view it as that. Week two, I have the Six of Pentacles, the Temperance card, and the Nine of Cups. Well, week two looks really good. <laughs> um, I, you know, what I'm really getting here is that it's like you're, it's like you have this cool vibe about you where you're just you're you're a bit of a giver and you're just like you know what I feel like doing something nice nice to someone uh or nice to people now, I don't know I I'm getting niceness out of this six of pentacles which is weird that's not something I normally see you normally I see balance normally I see you know um an equal give and take but really what i'm seeing is that you're being generous with your time with your energy um I, i'm just seeing that you're being super super generous and, and and i also see that because you're being generous you're being valued it's like you're it's almost like you're because you're doing this, you're being seen as an even better person that you were seen before, if that's even possible, Taurus. That's what I'm seeing here. As far as an obstacle, temperance. Again, I am not really seeing an obstacle. Um, I just feel like you're really going inward and listening to your guides. Um, I just feel like you are doing a lot of healing. I feel like you're you're taking... You're taking what didn't work and making it into something that work does work. Um, and I'm also getting magician vibes from this particular temperance. It's like you are creating something out of nothing, if, if that makes sense. That, that's what I'm seeing here. So I'm not necessarily seeing anything as an obstacle. Um, to overcome or how to navigate all of these energies, again, there's really nothing to navigate through. I just feel like you're celebrating. I feel like this whole energy for week two is just celebration, happiness by you being, I, so I'm, I'm seeing that you're, I don't know if you're taking friends out or maybe you did take friends out and because you took friends out to go do something, you got something out of it that you weren't expecting. It's kind of like the universe gifted something to you. And because of that, you're, you're celebrating that much more. That's a very, I mean, not, nothing that is really in here, but that's the story that I'm getting. Week three, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so for this particular week, what I'm actually seeing is this is going to be, I feel like, your trickiest week. I feel like this is either someone trying to either you or someone is trying to like put out your fire and and I'm I'm sure that you probably aren't trying to put out your own fire purposefully but sometimes we do that with saying oh geez you know everything is going too good and everything is too good to be true so I'm going to press the brakes here um so that that's what I'm seeing. If it isn't you, I feel like it's somebody that's around you that kind of is like, well, you know, make sure that you go slow because blah, 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 blah. You know, it, whatever their reasoning is. But just be mindful of somebody around, um, either somebody or yourself, where you might be seeing 
lies to yourself or they might be saying lies to you and it could be somebody that you value um or maybe you don't value them but maybe they're at a higher position than you um so for instance higher position in a family would be maybe a a parent or a, a cousin that you've you know been very good friends with or, or whatever that looks like or a supervisor if it's at work or uh, a coworker that you value their opinion or has a slightly higher position than you. Um, obstacles to overcome. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And really what I'm seeing here is a loss of something. And, and this could be a loss of your own self-worth, a loss maybe if this is... Um, Maybe this is just you cutting out your own negative thoughts and saying, you know what, I'm not going to think that way. That that kind of thinking doesn't serve me. Or if the the words are coming from somebody else, then maybe you're going to speak up and say, you know what, that kind of thinking doesn't, just, d doesn't serve me. W would you mind refraining from that? Uh, then we have the... Um, seven of wands to overcome this and i feel like this is really about standing in your own convictions and and defending your whatever it is you have or whatever it is you've built and say no this is mine i've built this whether it's a relationship or a career or whatever or your family it this is about saying you know what this is mine you have no business putting your two cents in my personal life i didn't ask for it I, I, I've done well within my own life up until this point. So would you mind just taking a step back? So this is just defending, um, or even if they, if they want to, even if you don't want to speak up and they just, you allow these people just to say whatever it is they want to say, this is you saying, I'm just going to put up a wall and pretend like I'm listening because this person isn't going to listen regardless and I'm just going to protect my I'm going to set up my boundary and I know not to say anything moving forward to this individual week four we have the knight of swords in reverse the world card and the three of pentacles wow okay so the four the the four the knight of swords I don't know where I got four from there's no four on here like at all I don't know where I got that um, the Knight of Swords, what I'm actually seeing, oh, sorry, the Knight of Swords in reverse for week four is, um, yeah, you know what? I, there's a couple of different things that are coming to me. I feel like someone might be there trying to upset your plans you know, like at your ear saying, you know, that isn't right, blah, 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 things of that nature. But I feel like this is more about you, you not being able to control your emotions about something. Uh, maybe you feeling a little bit like a fish out of water in regards to a specific situation. Um, this could be love this could be you know work situation this could be you know a new business that you're running i i don't know put it in whatever situation you have going on but i what i'm seeing here is really it's like you're i want a card for this um it's like you're it's like you're i, I you know what because it's right next to the two of cups it might have to do with a person a, a partnership um, because it, as far as an obstacle is concerned, we have the world and I don't see the world to be really an obstacle except for possible distance. Okay. So let's say you're in a new relationship and because it is next to the two of cups, if you're in a new relationship, then this really could be about just distance and perhaps there is distance. Uh, between the two of you, but really, they it, I don't really foresee a problem. Um, three cards came out to clarify this situation. We have the 
nine of swords the page of coins and the two of coins yes this has to do with a new person um, a new situation for sure and i feel like you're indecisive because we have the two of coins here but really what's holding you back are your own thoughts because we have the nine of swords and you don't want to, I, I feel like you have to break out of this repetitive cycle that's going on in your mind. It, you have to, you have to kind of go and be like, you know what? This person is not like the last person. Just because we're apart doesn't necessarily mean that it isn't going to be good because this page of coins person, I feel like this is a solid commitment is what I'm seeing here. Um, and as far as how to overcome this, we have the three of pentacles, work with one another, uh, work with your energies, have this conversation, say, Hey, listen, you know, this is tricky for me. This is not something I've normally done before. You know, how do you propose that we navigate this? Because this is, I'm out of my element here. And that's really what I'm seeing. I don't see this as a any other, um, any other, uh, whatchamacallit situation other than relationship. But it, let's say you're in, you know, you're married or whatever, and you know, you, your job takes you far away. You know, I feel like this is about, this is about you having this conversation, because I do see success with this world card. I feel like this is going to be a successful relationship. Um, but if this has to do with you being away from your family because of job, I feel like this is going to be just fine. Um, and I feel like if you miss your family, you can always just go to your supervisor and say, hey, listen, I need to go back um, and spend some time with my family. And I feel like they're gonna be okay with that is what I'm seeing here. But get out of your head. All right, that's really what this is, this week is about, getting out of your head and have a conversation. Talk with your partner, okay? Uh, week five, we have the two of cups, the nine of swords, and the four of pentacles. Okay. Here's the funny thing. The, the, with the um, overall, we have the two of cups, and I really do feel like this has to do with you know, a very balanced, happy relationship. Um, it, it definitely could have to do with a new partnership as far as business is concerned. But I, I feel like your obstacles, again, here's that nine of swords. This is really your own mind, your own anxiety, your anxiousness, your own uh, thoughts. It, you have to break the cycle my dear ones, and uh, how to overcome this. We have the four of pentacles. I feel like you need to be a little bit greedy with your time. Um, you have to recognize that your time is valuable, and I feel like you're so giving that you just freely give. Um, okay, so I was getting a card for the nine of swords, and the five of cups came up. Make sure that... Um, you're not comparing something new with something old. Just because it has happened in the past does not mean that it's going to reoccur. Yes, be cautious, 100%, be cautious. However, it's not a reason to um, walk away or, or be stressed out about if, it, it, because if you have a conversation and you're being open and honest, and if this person is really for you, then guess what? Then this person's for you and they're going to accept that and they're going to work with you. If they're not, then at least you've had that conversation and you're able to go ahead and say, you know what? If you can't work with me, then why am I even bothering? You know what I mean? So that conversation is going to be able to alleviate um, a lot of your stresses. Uh, with the four pentacles here in week five, this is about being a little bit greedy with your time, spending a little time with, with yourself, making sure that you take time to take care of you, to make sure that this is going to work out for you, you know, because if you don't take time for you and you keep giving, 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 you're going to, um, 
you're going to burn yourself out. You're going to exhaust yourself out and you're not going to be able to give to your job or your partner or yourself completely. So you have to take time for you. All right. So the uh, additional universe guidance, we have the Magi. Funny enough, we have the Magi, which we've already gotten the magician. And um, I feel like you're able to create whatever it is you want to. Um, now that you've gone through this sleepy season, you're now, you're now in this new energy where, where you're able to say, you know what? I can, I can, I can create, I can reinvent, I can reach down and, and touch a part of me that I have not been able to explore in a very long time. And I feel like that's going to elevate you in a very deep way, professionally and, um, professionally, spiritually, and romantically overall. All right. So your, uh, additional guidance here, we have the queen of coins, the eight of coins and the world. We also had the, uh, king of cups at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm seeing here, we remember we had the page of coins for the, uh, for the clarifier here for the world. And what went from the page of coins to the queen of coins. And we go from the page of cups to the king of cups. So I, I feel like you are the, the cups energy, the emotion, the, the love, the, there's, there's something passionate and, and emotional about you. Uh, while the queen and page of, of coins, what I actually saw with them was steadiness and like in their own, in their own energy. I, I, I see them as a very, not aloof, but they are aware of other people's energies. They just don't really care. Uh, I, I have this feeling that this person that either you are already involved with or you're about to be involved with, I'm not 100% certain here. I feel like maybe you're just in the beginnings of a relationship, um, if it's somebody new. Uh, I, I, what I'm seeing here is that they don't care about money as much as other people do. I mean, yes, they know that money is important, but what they like is to figure things out. And, and they see, they see you as the world is what I'm seeing here because we also have the world. So we have the queen of coins, the eight of coins and the world. And that's the, that's twice that we have the world card in one reading. We have the magi twice and the world card twice. I, I, I feel like you're going to be successful. This month is a strong month for both. I feel both in business and in, um, and in romance. Um, I know that we don't have too much going on here as far as romance, but I do feel like it's, ha it's either just beginning um, and has yet to bloom, but I feel like you really like this person. You really like this new job. You're still trying to figure your way out in both of them, but you really are enjoying figuring it all out because it's new and it's exciting. And it's really, again, I feel like you're sitting on top of the world. I feel like this is really elevating you to a whole new level of, of success, of romance, of everything, just a whole new level. And honestly, I feel like you created this. I feel like you created this situation. Um, like you manifested this situation um, is what I'm getting here for you guys. So congratulations on this amazing month. There are uh, some hurdles for sure, but I feel like overall it's really an, a really good month. All right, my dear ones, I hope this did resonate. If it did not, remember this is a general reading. Go ahead and check out your sun, moon, rising um, signs. And um, I will see you next month. Bye.